Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. This will be a quick little introductory video on how to use a VFD to run a machine that has multiple motors. Some of you may not know that a VFD can run more than one motor at a time, depending on the combined horsepower, of course. This is the electrical panel for the new 10 horsepower uh, vertical milling machine. It has a 10 horse motor here for the spindle, three horse here for the feeds, a half horse for the creep, and a quarter horse for the coolant pump. And we'll be able to power all these with one VFD. Now some caveats to that. Obviously if we're running full tilt, 10 horsepower and three horsepower, that's more than my 10 horsepower VFD will handle. But there's ways around that, and we'll, I'll show you some options. Most of you home, home shop guys are going to have VFDs to power your three-phase equipment. And one thing VFDs hate is motor starters, because the inrush amps. You need the VFD to produce the volt amperage to start the motors. And I always I tell people it's like a wave coming. The inrush amps is a wave. You don't want the wave to hit the VFD. You want the VFD to cause the wave that starts the motor. So that's an analogy for you if that helps it make sense to you. Now, these two are for the forward and reverse of the spindle. The VFD will handle forward and reverse operation. So we only need to, you know, we'll bypass this. Of course, if you're not comfortable doing electrical wiring, don't do any of this. Don't mess with any of this. Have someone do it for you, a qualified professional. So that being said, yeah, we'll jump her across this because VFD will handle this function. Uh, coolant pump is small enough. We'll probably wire it in with the spindle. So whenever the spindle is running, we'll have coolant because we can shut the coolant off separately if you know we don't want coolant through just a disconnect switch. And the feeds will be on all the time too. And as you see, the feeds, the coolant, and the creep, I still need to actually figure out what the creep does. They're not reversing direction. So those are very easy to power. This is the only one that's switching direction for the spindle. This just runs a motor that runs a gearbox and the levers themselves control forward or reverse function. So we can pretty much ignore a lot of what's in these panels because the VFD is going to take over for the fuses and all this because the VFD is going to be the protection for the motor and the wires, depending how you set it. So, and this will be, uh, if you pick up any of these old machines and you want to power them in your home shop, you're going to have to figure out what to bypass and all that and i will take you along on that journey with this machine because this is a good machine to do that with because it has multiple motors and i'll show you exactly how i do that i'll also if you're not familiar with my channel i have two vfds that power three different outlets a piece i'll show you that setup and other ways to go about bringing a machine like this to life in your shop so yeah, we'll keep it uh, short and sweet for this one. And hopefully you guys will stay tuned because this Saturday and Sunday, my goal is to get this machine where, it, where it's going to live in the shop, get power to it, and then we'll start uh, making a run. And hopefully some of you will find that helpful. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.